welcome back to the channel and in this episode we leave Fussen and head for Schloss Neuschwanstein, that's the new Swanstone castle to you and I. a very very cold fussin. Um, it's beautiful today, the sun is shining, we can actually see blue skies, so no rain and no snow, hooray! Uh, I'm glad we waited that extra day, so today's sightseeing should be a whole lot uh, more pleasant. So this campsite was 22 euros and for electric it was an extra 4 euros a night. We left our park up in Fussen nice and early to make the most of the day. There are some bays along the sides of the main road that you can park in overnight without restriction, but the road was too busy for us and it was nice having left the van there for the whole day while we explored Fussen, knowing that it was tucked out of the way. After a 15 minute drive, we arrived at parking platz 2. We have arrived at Nuschwanstein Castle. I don't even know if that's how you say it, I think it is. But before we head on in, the first point to make is there is ample motorhome parking. P2 is what you want to head to. When you arrive, it's dead simple. Um, I think it's about four car parks. P2 for your motorhome parking couldn't be easier. Door has appeared, look. Not too sure what she's going at as today. Well, I'm dressed for all seasons. You're dressed for something. Oh, I've got my back Oh, seriously. Wow. Are we, are we good? So. Yeah, come on, let's head in. There's three ways to get up the the road to the castle. One, bus. Two, horse and cart. Or three, walk. Now Dora has opted for the walking option. What are you saying? Let's walk. It can't be that bad. Right, I've got it on record. Re record. <laughs> I've got it on video. She said it can't be that bad. But I said slowly. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a torch. It'll be night for what time we get up there. This is your pace. This is my pace. You still happy about walking? Yeah, I am. I'm just quite hot now. I think I've overcooked it with the clothes. So it doesn't actually look that far. Castle being minutes. just over there. How long? 40 minute walk, apparently. Obviously an hour and a half for me. Oh, I'm going to... Crack on. You go. Get coffee up there. I'll be fine. Oh, do we have to go that way? Apparently. It was a slightly winding path up the hill, but the views were well and truly worth it. Right, Dora's found a cheeky little waterfall here, look. You can tell we're getting higher, um, because we are, and it feels like the air's getting thinner. It's getting a bit colder as well, maybe because we're in the shade. Oh, no. no wonder it takes so long to get anywhere. The views are quite impressive, to be honest. You can't really see because we're thick in the trees right now, but when there's a little clearing, you can really see just how high we are. Hopefully we're gonna get higher in a minute if she ever joins me. Come on. Visited by 1.5 million people each year, Neuschwanstein is the most famous castle in Germany. Okay, I think one more bend, and then the castle should be in front of us. The castle was built in the late 1800s by King Ludwig II, who was a rather shy and eccentric chap and wanted somewhere quiet that he could hide himself away. So we've pretty much made it to the castle. Look, Dora's stripping off. Thinks she's too hot. What's going on? I'm far too hot. Far <laughs> too hot. But there she is, look. And actually, the, uh, you can see the mountains almost visible behind. Much, much higher. What a beautiful day. Also, the views from this side as well are very impressive. And actually, that walk was okay, wasn't it? How yeah. long do you reckon it took us? Probably did take the prescribed 40 minutes, maybe. Do you reckon it took that 30 long? minutes? Well, we're not there yet, really. And we were going slow, weren't we? Yeah. So actually, if you do come and you want to walk, um, 
yeah, don't be put off. It's not that steep, really. And if I can do it, sorry? anyone. If I can do it, anyone can do it. You heard it here first. The castle was completed in 1873 and the king lived there until his death in 1886, away from prying eyes. So one of the things we were really looking forward to was the bridge, but it's not possible. Oh dear. Should we go and have a look anyway? Yeah. Walt Disney took inspiration following his visit here to design the very famous Sleeping Beauty Castle. I think we might be wasting our time walking <laughs> up here. It says it's closed. You can live in hope, can't you? Yeah. And we are going higher and higher still. And it's cold in the shade as well. I bet you want your coat back on now, don't you? <laughs> a little bit. Unbelievable. Come on. Let's get a march on. From this side of the castle, you get a great view of Hunchvangal Castle. So the castle is here, the bridge, oh, it's just up here. So we would have walked over that suspension ridge if we could. So I've got one very sad Ricky. Right, the bridge genuinely really is closed. There's no two ways about it, despite my uh, my hope. How would you describe the walk? It's very pleasant, isn't it? It's fine, yeah. This last little bit, it said 20 minutes, but it's not, it's 10, even by my standards, so that's from the castle to so the bridge. Yes, yeah, so that's probably two by a normal person. Anybody who's watched our videos before, bless you. Um, you will have seen Dora doing this ridiculous walk, tacking as she goes downhill, because for some reason, she's completely unable to walk downhill. So, Beth, isn't it, um, isn't it cows that can't go downstairs? Cows? Yeah, they can't. Why would a cow need to go downstairs? They, they can't walk downstairs because they can't bend their knees. Is that right? No, cows can bend their knees. What? Cows? No, they're your arms. Yeah, but cows can bend there. No, no, I think... Oh, they're back ones. I don't know, I just thought you can't you get a cow, a cow to go downstairs. Anyway, let's head for that coffee. We thought the castle from a distance did look very pretty. However, closer up, it didn't look quite as we'd expected. So here we are, look, outside the uh, the main entrance to the castle. We're not going in because Dora wouldn't let me. Um, it's not really true, is it? No. Um, there's quite a bit of restoration work going on inside and also um, <laughs> we couldn't be asked really, to be honest. <laughs> We're not really castle people. No, are we? I mean, let's cut to the I mean, chase. To, to a degree. Uh, unless they had a coffee shop, in which case I'm in. Um, but it's quite an impressive entrance, isn't it? Yes. Um, well, actually, it's a little underwhelming. The, the red brick isn't quite what I quite you'd like expect. It. It's Barrett Homes, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, for um, But yeah, anyway, so we're not going in. We're going to head off back down the hill now for a coffee. So come on, let's go. I found the cheap fridge magnets, so I'm in gift shop heaven. Look. One euro they start from. <laughs> oh my crikey, I'll, I'll leave her for two minutes. And look, she just loves it. Look at her, she's in a natural element there. Look, can't get the wallet out quick enough. Unbelievable. So, Dora's treated us, look, to a drink in a uh, castle mug, if you will. It's a the bargain from the gift shop, this was. Castle behind. She said, do you want a cookie? Let, let me just show you the cookies. Have we got a zoom on this camera? It's barely bigger than my eye. It's like an after, like a Jaffa cake. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so you get the mug, either a cappuccino, a hot chocolate or a macchiato, and a cookie, five euros. Absolute bargain. Take Cheers. My food. Cheers. Oh, and by the way, we've both got hot chocolate. Oh, it's nice as well. Um, oh, I'm stuffed after that cookie. Absolutely stuffed. Um, 
Might have the other one now. Obviously, this isn't gluten free, so Dora can't have this. So, um, he gets two cookies for literally the bite size. Look, for a pig. Unbelievable. Anyway, we're going to find the cable car. So, he's had my cookie, so I brought my own snacks today. Sesame Sack, did you will? Right? What are you eating? Well, you've just eaten my cookie and your cookie. I'm not getting caught out like yesterday, so I brought my own. Unbelievable. you got secret supplies? Yeah. My own sesame snaps. What a joke. What's some for me? You've had my cookie. It was minuscule. Six what you used to. That's what she said. Right. Yeah. Dora's nipping to the loo. Uh, then we're going to make the downward journey to the bottom where we're going to decide what we're going to do then. So hopefully she gets her act together and we can start heading down. Now you've seen her walk downhill before, so I'm not going to embarrass her or myself by filming that. So we'll catch you when we're back down the bottom and we'll decide what happens next. Hunchvangal Castle dates back to the 12th century and is actually where King Ludwig II grew up. I'm not entirely sure where they've got rocks on their roof. Is it to do with snow? Can anyone tell us why? So we're back in the van, in the warm. Um, definitely time for a cup of tea now. I'm going to make some lunch. Right, and whilst Dora does the, uh, the lunch, I'm going to jump up on the roof, make sure the solar panels are all nice and clean, because for the next few days we're going to be off-grid and relying on solar. The sun is out, so I just want to make sure they're nice and clean, because after all the rain we've just had, I don't want to reduce the amount of solar we're bringing in to keep the batteries nice and charged. Right, they're not too bad actually, so uh, a quick clean over and we should all be sorted. Anyway, let's get back down off this ladder and go and see if Dora's got the kettle on. Right, how are we getting on? Yeah, good. D lunch is served. Yes, please. Have we got a brew? We have got a brew, yep. Just taking the tea bags out. Cracking. Right, we've had our lunch. Dora knocked us up a cracker. And uh, look at the sunshine pouring in. Happy days, this is what it's all about. Um, so, all in all, well worth the trip here, I think. What do you say? Yeah, definitely. Good half day. Yeah, good half day. Um, parking spot on, uh, particularly if you're in a larger motorhome. And, and actually, other than the parking, we haven't really spent any money. I mean, we didn't go in, obviously. Um, apart from uh, the 8,000 euro that Dora spent on crap from the gift shop that we didn't even need. Um, apart from that... It's memories. Souvenirs. I'll remember it for a very long time. Um, anyway, we're going to jump back in the uh, hot seats now. And they are hot because the sun's pouring through the windscreen. And head on to hopefully um, a cable car. We'll see if we can find it. We found the cable car easily enough and parked up to check out how much it would cost if we could park the van there. Meanwhile, taking in the fantastic view of the castle in the distance. You can see where the cable car starts off at the base station, cuts through the clearing in the trees and goes right up to the top of the mountain. Where have you brought me now? Well, we've got some tickets to ride. Where are we riding? Up there. So we were actually up at the castle uh, earlier on and we spotted the cable car, didn't we? We did. So we've done a little bit of a scout round and lo and behold, we found it. We have. So uh, we're thinking it's going to be a little bit fresh, which is why Dora's wearing all her clothes. I have got all my clothes. Uh, and probably some of mine as I well. Can't move. Um, so she's like the Michelin man. So we're just waiting to board the next. Um, cable car. That's him, the next cable car. <laughs> Who knew? I hope they've used the thicker rope. Or cable, rather. So that you can see where we are in relation to the castle. That's the castle just over there. 
So we're probably a couple of kilometres away waiting to get on the cable car. If you're afraid of heights this probably isn't one for you however I found the views absolutely stunning you can see the 760 meter toboggan run there are three hiking routes down and at the top of the summit is a launch point for hand gliders and parasailers uh, no thank you Yeah, my ears went a couple of times. No, one didn't. Didn't they? No. Oh. What do you think? Might be want to go skiing. Now? Yeah. It's warm, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's no wind. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, yeah. Yeah. Which is weird, because it was windy down Yeah, down very below. windy down there. It's very odd. Right, so in the cable car, how high have we come? Uh, 1.7 kilometres, 1,720 metres. So 1.7 kilometres up the Alps. Mm -hmm. 55 euro for two tickets, and it's an eight minute ride. So, it's not, it's cheap. not cheap, but it's interesting, right? Are yeah. we going to have a coffee? Okay. Yes, get in. It's a long way to come, and it's very high, but she said yes. Unbelievable. She says yes to getting a coffee and then doesn't move. How could I have said no to having a coffee in the Panoramic Cafe with such a stunning view? What you want to hear now But they all disappeared They will let you down After our coffee we had time for a quick last look round and some photos before the last cable car was due to leave to go down the mountain. Ricky obviously felt pretty romantic after that coffee with a view. We only need the two of us together. There we were, having a romantic moment. And then, oh, yeah. Yeah, oops. Ooh. All right, on the way back down, the cable car is Ramo. It's okay. The door has tucked herself away in the corner here, look. Unbelievable. Apparently, you get 15 more people in here yet. That we should be together, it's heavy weather. We're heading for tonight You better take what you can Cause the time is right now We only need the two of us together we only need I actually think that spring is a lovely time of year to visit here. The mountains are snow-capped, yet there's plenty of greenery to be seen in the valleys and it's not too cold. Right, now we've been up there. Yep. What's next? Um, we need to head off for tonight's park up. Where are we staying? We haven't got anywhere yet. I thought so, you planned it. Yeah, I've planned that we haven't got anywhere yet. It's alright, it's 20 to 5, so... Uh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, what could possibly go wrong? We jumped on park for nights and found somewhere close to the next location we wanted to visit. It looked great to me, and reasonably priced. 
They have got loos. Dora always chooses the best sites. In the next episode, find out how we survived the night. And also join us as we explore Lindau Island.